Hello, welcome to part 4 of the Skyrim Special Edition Ultimate Graphics tutorial. The parts of dungeons, rocks and mines on all those related textures. So, part 4, I suggest we start right away. Let's open up the first couple of texture mods. That is underground and dungeon texture overhaul. That's Gecko's uh, Nordic runes textures and Gecko's Dwarven runes textures. And I'm going to check if there is nothing really weird or fancy going on which I did downloads apparently not so let's see this has uh, the underground foam mod you want to download that file and you also want to download the static mesh improvement mod with texture because we have installed that mod then for Gecko's Nordic runes we want to download the let's see I would suggest you guys pick 2k uh, textures but like I explained before I'm for going to for 4k textures um, Sorry, so okay, uh, then we want to go for the Gecko's Dwarf and Runes textures and let's see Yeah, it's only one file. So that's pretty easy and then let's add those files. So starting with Let's see um, Part number four Undergrounds that's the first file we should download. So let's wait until this uh, loader finishes loading uh, okay, then we have this options form. So uh, what I usually do is I pick my own file names, but it doesn't matter. I've explained it in the last part. You can leave the original file in blank because the priority list is the list that matters anyway. And yeah, for that, don't bother too much for me correcting my file names. But anyway, for the options form, um, let's see, you can have the default, default color for Ford exteriors or a little bit darker Fords. I'm going for the default, default color, so I'm gonna pick that. And let's sit this installation uh, form out because it's relatively small. I hope, <laughs> I hope this is hitting 100% pretty fast. Yeah, it is, okay, great. Then activate underground the first mod. And then we also want to have the patch file for static mesh improvement mod uh, wood. So right click, set data directory, Azure data directory. Okay. And then let's see, we did download the, yeah, the other ones. So we do have the Nordic runes. I again have ultra quality, but I, you probably have 2K version. Click manual. This has been packed correctly, which is great. Okay, we activated mod and then the last one we did on it so far was the Dwarven Runes. So click manual, this one has been packed also correctly, great. Then let's pick the next couple of mods, which is HQ Mines, HQ Caves, Skyland, Imperial Forts and Dungeons, Ari Snow Elf Runes Retexture and 4K, 2K, Stockade Wood, Revamped Retextures. So, let's see. Um, this one apparently has been set to hidden. And what this means, let's see, the reason given by the author. Okay, we need to pick this mod. So, as you can see, these things change all the time. And also, if I release a tutorial, um, what will usually happen is that a couple of days after the tutorial, mods are being set to hidden or being replaced, stuff like that. And it might be that I've not even got this mod. So uh, let's see, this is named HQ Mines Redone. Okay, maybe I have this file. So this is where you want to go. Then you want to click on files and download this version, which probably comes with an, ins with an options form and an installer. So that's good. Then HQ Caves, you want to go to files, download the 2K in your case, and I probably have 4K. Then Skyland, Imperial, Forts, and all. There's only one main file for the Ari Snow Elf Runes Retexture. This is a really nice text retexturing, by the way. There's only one file, so that's great. And for the Stockade, Wood Revamped. This is a really nice looking uh, wood textures. You can find them all over major cities which have them. Download, yeah. Just what you can do is check out the screenshot what you like. If you like this uh, timber brown or old gray, you can have a comparison here and I would then pick your color and select either 2K or 4K. And let's see, do we need any patch files? No, we don't. And yeah, and then download that mod as well. So for my list, let's continue with the next mod, which is the Mines Redone. So the that's the file which has been redirected to. And that's this one, comes with an options form. 
Yeah, in your case, pick 2K, I'm going for 4K. Because I'm a screenshot archer and a showcase archer and a sucker for 4K textures. Okay, great. Activate that mod, then number six is the caves. And where I have picked 4K. I have to say, they look amazingly well in 4K resolution, but 2K also looks great. I mean, these these I have some screenshots from these also on, uh, on my Discord. And either pick dark brown or vanilla. Let's see, what should I pick? Mm -mm -mm. Maybe I'm going for brown. Okay, I'm going to give it the original file name and then I click on install. And yeah, these look really nice and they these are uh, also um, present a lot in caves and all. So that's why these mods are very important to have. But anyway, again, 2K is also fantastic, good quality. Then Skylands, click a manual, well, select this as your data directory. It comes with a plugin. Doesn't really matter that much. Okay, then let's see. Uh, yeah, this one is uh, the Ari Snow Elf. Yeah, it is a mod. Okay, just uh, I didn't I didn't saw a recognizable file name, so that's why I double checked. Okay. Man, as you can see, these mods are pretty fast also. I don't have to pause my recording all the time. And then this one, it's apparently I picked all gray timber 4K, but yeah, maybe you want to pick the original brown one. I think the uh, vanilla textures are a little bit more brown, but that's up to you. It's your Skyrim Special Edition, it's your pick. Okay, then let's download the remaining files from this, which is this one this one this one this one and this one and this one so detailing the eldritch i have um yeah just the main file because this is low resolution and that's definitely not what we want for this uh yeah if you want to have the let's see the c in color then you want to check the picture and pick either that one or the main one. I probably have just a regular one. However, I have to say this one also looks really good. But yeah, uh, check out the screenshot for yourself. Uh, so that's this one. Then st the stunning statues of Skyrim is just a installer with a lot of options. Then Marwa 2K 4K textures. Well, these are very individual uh, statues which are not really common in the world to see a lot. So I you can just pick uh, 4k version of this so that's probably what I've picked as well and then we have rents HD shrines shrines which look really good go to files it's only uh, just a main installer and style rim let's see what we have for the options yeah again I would pick 2k but uh, yeah if I were you I mean I would pick 2k else pick 4k also if you want to have transparency you can uh, or if you don't want to have transparency, I should say, you can pick this optional file as well. All right, then let's continue where we left off with number 10. That's this one. Expand, set data directory, press OK. Good. Oh, whoops. That didn't meant to double click. Number 11. I apparently picked a glow. That's fine. It's your Skyrim special edition. You should have picked what you like. The statues of Skyrim. Well, this is as far as I know, we have to pick a lot of options here. So yeah, um, we want to select all and I don't think the shift works. So we have to just check them all. And now for every individual option, we need to pick options. So this is probably a very long options form. So we want always HD mesh uh, meshes. This one is for the textures, but this one is actually for the mesh. So that's what you always want. And here you can see with the screenshots, um, you, you, here you have a little bit of a comparison of what you like. So this is purely taste, uh, taste based. So pick what you like. I'm, yeah, I'm not super picky. So I'm just pick something. Um, which I just uh, yeah see in, in the blink of an eye. Ultra HD. You always want to go for the uh, best mesh. Because they just look a lot better. And these statues are not really present in the world. Um, a lot. So yeah, in that case it doesn't really matter. 
Mm, let's see, for lava texture. These are stone. Mm, I have to say the stone looks really nice. So for stone, I want to have the 2K stone texture. Uh, we want to have the EMB HD mesh for this one because we're going to install an EMB later on and the 4K textures as well. This is for the Winterhold statue for the College of Winterhold. We want to HD mesh default black with 2K textures, HD mesh with 4K textures, HD mesh, mesh with 2K, to HD 2K, HD 2K. Okay, black or green, prefer black I think. Next, HD mesh 4K. Okay, this is also purely optional. Let's see, I like the Skyforge still, so I'm gonna go for that in 4K. This one, HD mesh copper or the regular one. I have to say copper looks nice, so I'm gonna go for copper. The Southern Guard mesh, uh, the 4K version HD mesh. Okay, so a lot of individual options for uh, all the statues. Great, then the Mara full saturation, I, that's what I've picked, set the data directory correctly, and then we only have a couple of files left for this part, so this one, this part ran pretty fast, uh, if you compare it with the other ones. Let's see what do we want here. Also check this one, these ones for options, and let me double check if there is no special instructions in this part, I don't think so, no, okay. Great, so, okay. Okay, yeah, just check it out in uh, what you like. I'm gonna leave all these uh, as the default selections after I inst uh, corrected the file name. Okay, then let's see the last one, number 15. That's Telram already, click manual, click okay. And then activate it, and that's pretty much it. And then don't forget to drag and drop random alternate start ESP at the bottom of your load order. Now, just to be sure, uh, run your Skyrim Special Edition. Perhaps go to an area where you have some statues or check out some of the great uh, cave textures, wood textures, maybe around Riverwood, Whiterun. And uh, yeah, do that now, and then I'll see you guys at the next part.